But what I'm basically doing is I'm using an 8x10 camera. So I have to, because, I, it, because it's an 8x10 and you focus on the ground glass, um, I have to focus long before any of these people you are there. That, yeah. So I'm looking at uh, a mark on the ground so I can tell where my plane of focus is going. Then I put the, the uh, film in the back of the camera. And now I can't look through the camera anymore. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm standing there with, in my head, a proscenium. Uh, so I know where, uh, roughly where the frame is, and I know where the plane of focus is. Mm -hmm. So I can watch people turn, I can turn around and watch people coming this way, I can watch people coming that way as they enter, as they're about to come through my proscenium. Yes. And I'm standing there with my cable release and, uh, and just waiting. In this case, you must have known yeah, the guy I, in the corner. Yeah, that yeah. he was there. He was there. Yeah. He was there when I focused the camera. Yes. But no one else was. And how long, on average, would you have to, would you be prepared to wait? An hour I'm, or two? I'm prepared to wait as long as necessary. But in New York, you never have to wait very long. No. That's no. that's the beauty of New York is that uh, I can set up on 57th Street and Fifth Avenue. Uh, or th that one is on Herald Square, mm -hmm. and uh, and wait a couple of minutes, and something something and, will ha interesting will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then part of it isn't even exactly um, that. What is happening is that interesting. It also could be the moment. For example, in this one, I'm looking at the the way people are stepping. And here are these yes. two people in completely, in step. completely yeah. in step with their yes. heels here, yes. and these two people yes. completely yes. in step, step. Yeah. with their toes down. And so it could be that kind of moment that is, is interesting, not just, not just who the people are. But how many variations on this would you have taken? Um, I, I would take maybe eight. Yes. They could be bigger still without losing. Mm -hmm. and they could be twice the size. Yeah, I'm, I'm, be I'm, I'm beginning to get grain at this point. Yes, yeah, you can, yes, you can see yes, grain. yes. I mean, yes. it's not much compared to for a print this size. But um, so that's a physical imposition, really. I mean, the scale is determined by the materials you're using in this case. Mm -hmm. But how, if it's an 8x10, why, how is it that there's propor these proportions? Uh, the camera is a, a Deerdorf, and... It's one of those sw swing... It, 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 it's, it's an old wooden camera. Yes. And Deerdorf made, years ago, a wooden slide that popped into the back of the camera that covered up half the negative. I see. So you can make a, a 4x10 negative. I see. And what you do is you take a picture with it, and then you move the slide, and you can take a second picture on the same sheet of film. Uh -huh. So on each sheet of film, there are two 4 by 10. I see. How interesting. So you could, you, you could fit t two on the, one, yeah. on the one negative. Yeah. 